Uh, hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Now I'm gonna talk about the uh, oh, how to fix and what causes the uh, saggy chain uh, to sag, to sag like this and what you can do about it. Anyways, so let's get into it right now, okay. The main reason uh, what causes your chain and how I like to detect it is that you wanna put your uh, chain on a smallest cog right here and you wanna put it on a smallest cog right here. And what's gonna, what that will do, it will give you a perfect indication if you have a saggy chain. In this situation here, the chain looks perfect because it's a new old stock bicycle and everything is brand new pretty much. Now, keep in mind, uh, I'm gonna start off with the problem number one, what I've seen, what causes your uh, saggy chain. Uh, this is the, the suspect number one. Uh, the weak spring over here, it will give you something to look like this. What's gonna happen? Uh, the spring here gets loose and uh, this mechanism here st starts to weaken up pretty drastically. And that's why one of the reasons you always have the, the, the saggy chain, f f uh, this, the spring here causing the saggy chain, which will give you that sag over here. Now, since I'm here, the problem number two is your dropouts, if you look over here. Now, if you look, uh, my, my, my uh, axle hub is all the way the front. Now, if you have some, in case, if you have some saggy chain, uh, if you have some slack, you, you may wanna come back and uh, bring this uh, hub a little backwards. What, what, what will that do? It will go a little more backwards and the chain will get tighter. So this is your main uh, uh, problem. Like I said, uh, axle is way too front at the front, which can be moved at the back to eliminate the chain slack. And then to summarize that again, problem number two, your spring that's located right here, your spring, that's gonna give you that saggy chain, yeah. Now the, the problem number three, which is not the case in this situation here, is, uh, is your chain. Uh, in this particular case over here, the chain is pretty much brand new. How, however, I'm gonna put link down in the description how you can measure it and, and see if you have to replace your chain as a last option to fix your saggy chain issue. So like I said, uh, to memorize again, you've got the uh, chain that needs to be checked out as your last option. Option number two, uh, lots of slack on your dropouts which means that your axle can go this way a little bit. And then the spring, the spring that's on your derailleur that's causing the, the saggy chain. And uh, this is the best way if I back out. This is how the healthy chain should, should, should look like. I hope you found this useful. Like, subscribe, and take care. Bye-bye.